part three in our financial statement analysis series where we'll be discussing trend analysis, which is another form of a horizontal analysis, which we talked about in part two. So again, a horizontal analysis is when we, when we analyze a company from one year to another year. So a trend analysis, again, is just another form of a horizontal analysis where we actually can tell what the direction the business is taking. So, for example, what are the revenues or the income doing? Is it increasing, decreasing, and by what rate? So, the base year here is always going to be 100% because we're basing everything on the base year. So, what happened from the base year to the current year or the year before, etc.? And the trend percentage is calculated by taking the analysis year dollar amount, so whatever the revenue is for this year, for example, and divide that by the revenue for the base year. That will give us our trend percentage. For example, our base year revenue would, of course, be 100%. And if our revenue increased by 2%, then our trend percentage would be 102%, meaning or telling us that our revenues are 102% this year of our base year. So let's take a look at an example of a trend analysis. So here we have Thousand Oak Realty's net revenue and net income for the following five-year period. And we're going to use 2004 as our base year. So um, we ultimately want to decide which grew faster, uh, net revenue or net income during 2008, which we're calling our current year. So recall what we just stated about the formula. Our base year, which is 2004, that will always be 100%. So if our revenue is, is 1,043, 1,043 divided by 1,043 is 1 or 100%. But now we want to see how it grew in 2005. So we would take net revenue of 1009 and divide that by the base year revenue amount of 1043 When we do that, we find that revenues in 2005 are 97% of what they were in 2004, telling us that our revenues from 2004 to 2005 fail by 3%. Net income, our base year net income was 85, and in 2005, our net income was 71. To find the trend percentage, we would take 71, the net income in the analysis year, and divide, divide that by the net income in our base year, 85, and we find that net income in 2005 is 84% of what it was in 2004 telling us that our net income fell by 16%. Then we will continue on with our next three years. So push, uh, press pause on your player right now and see if you can complete 2006, 2007, and 2008. Remember, you're still using 2004 as your base year. Okay, so now we're back. And let's see if we get the same answers for our next three years. So in 2006, your trend percentage for revenue and income, revenue should be 106% and net income should have been 98%. So just to reiterate here, this tells us that in 2006, our net revenue was 106% of what it was in 2004, meaning our net revenue increased 6% or has increased 6% since, it was, since 2004. In 2007, your net revenue trend percent was 114%. Net income would have been 134%. In 2008, net revenue trend percent would be 126%. Net income would be 144%. So the ultimate question was which grew faster during the current period, net revenue or net income? And we can see this because we've done the percentages. If, we, if we've just got the numbers, so if you look at the chart right above it, 
If we just have the numbers, we really can't answer this question. We have to have the percent, the percentage growth. And the trend analysis allows us to do that, this form of a horizontal analysis. So we can see that our net income has grown at a faster rate than our net revenue. So what that's telling us is that our revenues are growing at a faster rate than our expenses.